Good morning, happy. Here we are starting a new week. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Just checking in with our weekly little session here to focus on what can we let go of. We're, we're using my letting go guidance system. And the whole idea of this system is to help us look at different layers. And, and you know, sometimes things, the same thing comes up over again. In fact, saying all that, the same things can often come up over again when we're in a Mercury retrograde phase, which is what we're in now. Now we're, we're on the other side of halfway through. And so what ha kind of happens, and this is like, this is a really good time to be doing a little tune in, check in to see what can we focus on letting go of, but also what can we focus on actioning? Because when things come up, to be looked at by us, like maybe uh, somebody comes back into your life or a situation comes up again or a belief that you thought you'd let go of kind of surfaces again or you get triggered. This is a time for you to start looking at what can you do, but doing it at your right pace in your right rhythm. That's what this, the, this system that I developed, the Letting Go Guidance uh, system is very much about tapping into your right rhythm and looking at the things that you need to let go of, because in in essence, at the end of it all, is we're looking to let go of all of the things that no longer serve so we can thrive, so we can really be the beacon of light that we intend to at a soul level. So I hope all that makes sense. That's just where we're sitting uh, today. Uh, and if you're here, uh, let me know. It'd be nice to see if there's anybody here, or if you are uh, watching the recording, that's great too. So how this works, what we're going to do is we're going to just land into this moment. Whether you're here with me live or you're watching the recording, just take a nice deep breath with me. And let it out. Just let go of any worries, any stress. The sun's shining today, so that's a pretty good thing. And another deep breath. Landing into this moment and as we're doing this, we're going to take one more breath together and I'm shuffling the cards because we're going to pick one and see what we are going to focus on. So just landing fully into this moment, one more breath. And slowly letting it out. Just maybe having a wee question in your mind. What is there here for me to focus on letting go so I can fully align, fully find my joy, find my passion. And so what we're going to work on is letting go of a negative body image. You know, this comes up a lot of times uh, in, in my conversation. I think, can you relate to that? Do you sometimes look at your, your body and criticize it uh, as opposed to being super grateful for all of the things that you get to do with your body? Um, Oftentimes, even like even how does it work if somebody compliments you? If somebody says how great you look today or your hair is great or you, you're wearing something really lovely, how do you receive that? Because that's often an indication into how are you thinking about your body. So often people will not receive that, that compliment and, and it's because they think there's something wrong. You know, I'm, I, I could lose 20 pounds or... or um, I haven't had my hair cut or, uh, you know, it's like making excuses as to just land into the divinity that your body actually is. So where, how can you focus on letting go? And when I talk about letting go, I'm talking about things like writing it out, things like maybe, maybe watching those inner voices and saying thank you and letting them go, trying some affirmations, trying some visualizations. Even, you know, the other thing, and I actually do this every morning when I, first thing when I wake up and last thing when I, I go to bed, is I actually say, I love you. Put your left hand over your heart and just sit there and just try it now. Just breathe that in. I love you. I love you. I love you. And when sometimes when we do that, if we do have a big cloud of a negative body image, we can be you know, um, criticizing or, or picking fault in, in yes, but. So just let that go. What can you do? Journal it out. Um, 
maybe even do some EFT tapping. I'm a big believer in, in EFT tapping, uh, emotion freedom technique tapping. And if you have any questions about that, just pop in the comments below. I'd happy to give you some more resources on that. But so what I'm going to do just now is I'm going to read out, out of my guidebook um, just see how does how does negative body image come up for you and what can you do to let that go or rewire some of that thinking or look after your body better. Like sometimes uh, a negative body image <clears throat> is because uh, under underneath it all, you kind of know that you're not treating your body with as much um, honor as you could. Like maybe you're not eating as healthy as you could. Maybe you're not getting into enough sleep, as much sleep as you need. So just watch for, for are there, there are limitations in there that you could start bringing in. And then I'm going to read this out, see if this brings up anything else for you. You are bright, beautiful right now, just the way you are. This is really only one person's opinion. You should, there is, sorry, there is only, really only one person's opinion you should be concerned with when it comes to your body, and that's yours. If you are comfortable in your own skin, and you're healthy, then that should be the only thing that's matter, that matters. Do not let others tell you that you are not beautiful because when you believe then, then you are. And that also applies to social media. Oftentimes we compare ourselves to um, unrealistic social media or magazines or advertisements like that. So that's referring to that too. Healthy people have a self image that's separate from their body image. They have an identity it's about many things. Perhaps their identity focuses on being a friend, a student, a parent, or just having a loving nature. Maybe their focus is a hobby, an instrument, or a pet. There are many things that go into a person's identity or feelings of specialness and self-worth. And on top of it all, they have a body that they take care of and live in. When somebody has a negative body image, they generally do not feel special and they don't have a strong sense of identity and worth. They latch on to being thin as something they can do and control and be good at. Then their self-image and their body image get twisted up and they think they are only as good as their body looks to them. In what ways can you feel or be special that have nothing to do with your looks? Can you imagine what it would feel like if you felt worthy? What are some other ways you might separate your body image from your self-image? And just sit with that. How can you shift out of judging yourself just because of how you think you look in the mirror? And oftentimes, you know, I think we've all bought into stories like that uh, you have to be a certain size or, you, you know, no wrinkles on your on your face. Um, to be honest with you, I'm grateful for my wrinkles. They prove that I've been around for a bit and gone through a number of experiences. And, and gray hair, that's like, to me, that's a, a, a it's an acknowledgement of life experience. But all too often, we, we kind of um, compare ourselves to things that are unrealistic. That's not you. So see what you can do this week to let go, to sort of unhook your idea of who you are and your worthiness with how you look, how your body looks. And as we're just kind of feeling into that energy, breathing into that, seeing how your inner dialogue is. Um, I'm shuffling the Dorian Virtues angel cards and I'm going to pick. Oh, Sheena's here. Hi, Sheena. Nice to see you here. I'm going to pick three cards to help support this idea of letting go of a negative body image. And let's see what will come up for us today. This is pretty cool. You know that I always say that. So the first one is enchantment. So how can you be enchanted and excited with the idea that, yes, well said, beauty is not a dress size. <laughs> I completely agree with you. Um, so enchantment, how can you be, be like excited? Um, oh, there's some kind of confirmation. How can you be excited about your body and the things that you get to do, the ways you get to move, the experiences you get to have. Because when you do that, so you know when I read the, defini the, the, the definition of this card, I was looking at things of what are the other things that make you unique and special? And when you do that and kind of take out of that body part, you get to feel into your own true power. This is really big. This is very special. To, to The more you can release that 
I am only as beautiful as I think I look in the mirror, the more you can actually step into your own divine power, like really shine your light. And in doing this, then we can start to engage with the signs around us. So, you know, when we when we kind of um, get out of that, that critical self-talk in our mind, you know, I should be slimmer, I should be this, I should be uh, no wrinkles on my, my face, um, all those kind of things, the shoulds, right? When we get more into, I am a divine being having this experience in this human body, which I'm super grateful for this body because I get to interact with other people, have certain experiences that I could not have if I had did not have a body. That actually allows us to then be more observant, more in touch with the universal flow, the sort of guides, the, the um, intuition that's outside of us. So see how that how that goes for you this week. Let go of your negative body image. Get more into treating yourself as your own best friend. You are beautiful exactly as you are. And be enchanted about your experience. Unleash your power. And then watch for the signs. You will start to feel the signs and get little taps on your shoulder saying, yes, that's the right path or that's the right choice. So I wish you a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next week. Any questions or comments below, I'd love to hear from you later. Take care. Bye-bye.